Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. What I'd like to do is show you, kind of go through you step by step on how to graph parabolas using the definition uh, for conic sections. So, the first important thing I think um, when graphing a parabola using the definition of a parabola is identify where the axis symmetry is. And the most basic way to look at that is seeing what is squared. And we know that from x, when x is squared, that means the graph is going to open up or open down, right? Because that's our previous. Um, previously how we used to graph uh, parabolas. But then if we see the y is squared, that's going to tell us that the parabola either opens up to the right or opens up to the left. So the main thing is identify that axis of symmetry. Now, the next thing, which isn't so bad, is understanding where exactly the axis of symmetry, where the vertex is in comparison with the axis of symmetry. Now remember, the vertex always goes through the axis of symmetry. And it could always be the max or the min, right, when we're thinking about it um, in a vertical standpoint, but it also could be uh, all the point furthest to the right or furthest to the left for a um, when you have a horizontal axis of symmetry. Now, when identifying the vertex, um, again, kind of like vertex form of a quadratic, we know that the vertex is just in the form of h comma k. So once we know what type of uh, axis symmetry have, there's two different equations, right? Where the x is squared, where the y is squared. And both those equations are very important to make sure you have the correct version of, because what the next thing you want to do is identify your h and the k from the correct um, formula that you're using. The next thing is identify p. And for either equation, you have 4p being the coefficient of your linear term, right? If you have like x, x minus h squared, then it's 4p e times y. If you have y minus k squared, then it's 4p times x on the other side of the equation. So we want to identify the value of p. And remember, the value of p is the distance from the center to the focus. And if that distance is positive and you have a horizontal axis symmetry, then you're going to move to your right. And that means the graph opens up to the right. If p is negative, then you move to the left. And that means your, axis, your parabola opens up to the left. If you have a vertical axis symmetry and p is positive, then the parabola opens up. If it's negative, the parabola opens down. Um, the last thing is to determine the focus and the directrix. So remember, since we know, once we know the value of p, that takes us to the focus, which is a point, right? We label the point. Remember that the distance, the definition of a parabola is all, any point on the parabola is equidistant to the focus as it is to the directrix. Well, the vertex is a point on the parabola. So if I'm going a certain distance to find my focus, I can go that exact same distance in the opposite direction to find my directrix. And the last important thing to remember about directrix is the focus is a point, directrix is a line. And remember, we need to write the equation of the line and do not get it confused with the axis of symmetry. The axis of symmetry and the directrix are perpendicular. So if I have a horizontal axis of symmetry, my directrix then is going to be a vertical line. And remember, vertical lines are x equals, and horizontal lines would be y equals. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is kind of like your basic little tips to graphing parabolas using the definition for conic sections. Thanks.